going to the RV Super Show. In this video, we're gonna share newbie tips on how to have a good experience at a huge RV show. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. We RV pursuing freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, guys. It is, and in this video, we are going to share the best tips if you're going to an RV show we're talking specifically about Tampa because we're here right now on Industry Day. Yep, 2020 Tampa Super Show. Today was the first day of Industry Day. So it's kind of cool because we have access to it where we can kind of see it before the crowds get here. So we've had a blast and we figured we'd do a video on tips and tricks to prepare yourself not only for the Tampa Super Show, but for other RV shows. Mama wants a river stone. <laughs> now an RV show is a fantastic place if you're a newbie to go on as many models as you possibly can to get a good feel what is gonna work best for you and your family, right? And so class A's, class B's, class C's, tents, camping, they've got everything here. Tickets are cheaper if you get them up front. If you wait till the event, they will cost you a little bit more. And heads up, you might as well stay for two days because when you get a ticket, tell them that you're going for two days and you'll get a two day ticket for the price of one. If you are a senior citizen, they will give you entrance on Wednesday only. You get a $2 discount. And if you are military, a military service member or emergency responder, whether active or retired, you get a discount every single day of $2. And kids get in free. In my opinion, the best time to come to an RV show is in the morning. The reason being is that it's not as crowded. And especially in Florida, the weather is a little bit better. You know, the other thing that you might want to consider is coming during the weekdays because the weekends are going to be crazy. The other thing we found out that was pretty cool is you can actually bring your animals to the Tampa RV Super Show. Your dogs. I don't know about like your tortoise Oh yeah, you, can't, <laughs> you can't bring your fish or your goats. <laughs> no, you're welcome to bring a dog as long as it's well behaved. But the biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure you do your research. If you're going to end up staying at the event, you are going to want to plan ahead of time. Parking your car is $8 a day, parking an RV, dry docking in the parking lot is $20 a night. Which means you are gonna have no con connections whatsoever. No power, no sewer, no water. Another thing you're gonna wanna plan is if you are staying at the event, make sure you know which entrance to go into. Our RV is 40 feet and our truck makes it a total of 60 feet long. So we can't just enter in any old entrance. Yep, you, you are in the city. So make sure you know which entrance you're gonna go to if you're bringing your RV. If you do wanna stay at the event, make sure you make reservations early. They fill up fast. We paid $50 for a 50 amp site. 30 amp sites are 40 a night. Just like anything in RV and you should have a plan of what is on your agenda and what you wanna accomplish while you're at the RV. RV show whether you know exactly which rig you want uh, or you're just a brand new newbie you start now and you want to go on all kinds of different rigs keep a notebook get plenty of pictures and we're going to talk a little bit about that later in the video another big thing that helps is to look online you'll see the map you'll know where to go you know they even have seminars so if you're gonna come you should check out the seminars there's one on Lippert let us know if you want us to record that maybe. We'll see if they'll let us. They have a lot of really helpful seminars. This is really good for the RV newbie, but also good for the RV vet to keep up on the changing technology. You can find that schedule all online. We'll also link to that below the description in this video. One of the things that you definitely want to do if you come into the Tampa RV show is you want to have good sneakers, good, really comfortable shoes. You're also gonna to wanna to have plenty of water and snacks. Being that it's just like a carnival, the cost of water is three bucks. Yep. A hot dog's probably gonna cost you 10. So bring something to eat with you. They also have deals on RV accessories. We weren't really expecting this, but let's say you need new plugs or new chairs or whatever accessories for your RV. They actually sell them here. They do. And so have a little bit of cash with you. I do think they do take credit cards, but it's always a good idea to have cash in your pocket. If walking a long distance is going to be an issue, they do have wheelchairs that you can rent, but it is for a fee. So what I would recommend is if you do need a wheelchair, bring your own wheelchair. We brought a stroller for our daughter that helped a great deal. The other thing that's really helpful is a backpack. Having to lug a lot of stuff in the hands would be really exhausting, so I am loving this backpack. The RVs inside are like the million dollar crazy RVs. Don't stop at those ones first, unless you're gonna buy one. Make sure you get to your desired RV first, 
And then you can have fun playing in the million dollar ones. We were blown away by the size of this show. In 2017, there was over 70,000 people that attended. In 2018, 73,000. And in 2019, 74,000. Yep, this year they're expecting 75 to possibly 80,000. RV business is good. We got here yesterday and we actually were camping here for the whole week. Um, so if you guys are gonna be here, please reach out to us to our email. Uh, rvoddcouple at gmail.com. We'd love to get to meet you. We'd love to meet as many of the RV Odd Squad members as we can. Now, when you're looking at all the different RVs, they're going to all kind of blend in your head by the time you get home at night, right? So one of the things that you should do is take your phone and take pictures or even do a mini video. But if you're gonna take video footage of an RV that you're shopping, make sure that you get the model number and most rvs will have a sticker that gives the brand the model number right in the front door so if you take that then you'll remember what it was you were looking at so if you're a newbie looking to go to an rv show chances are you're also in the market for a new rv in our next video we're going to share with you our rv buying mistakes if you have not seen it or if it's been a while since you've seen it make sure you don't do what we did it costs <laughs> us thousands extra